How to install a unique home design's recessed mount double security screen door featuring the MeshTech advanced screen system. Installation of this product is above average in difficulty. Professional installation is recommended. If you are experiencing difficulty with your installation and require assistance, please contact us before returning the product to the retailer. Customer service and technical support are available at 1-866-317-8867 or support at uhdco.com, Monday through Friday from 6.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. First, make sure you have the right product and size for your application. Assess your opening and identify your mounting surface. Notice which side of your double entry door you use to enter and exit. This side will be the active security door. The other side will be the inactive security door. Your security door will require a minimum mounting surface of one inch on both sides of the corner of the trim or jam. Identify your mounting surface and check and correct for any obstructions like doorbells, foliage, and light fixtures. Measure your opening. Measure width between the inside edge of the right and left mounting surfaces. The security door will fit if this measurement is between 63 and 3 quarters and 64 and 3 eighths inches for a 64 inch double door, or between 71 and 3 quarters and 72 and 3 eighths inches for a 72 inch double door. Measure from the bottom edge of the upper mounting surface to the existing threshold. The security door will fit if this measurement is between 80 and 80 and 7 eighths inches. In this case, the face of the mounting surface provided less than one inch, so we added this small piece of trim on the sides and top of the opening so the door would fit. If the opening is larger than these ranges, you can check to see if there is a narrower mounting surface on your entryway that will work. Build your mounting surface out using stop or similar trim, or remove and reconfigure your trim to bring the opening within the fit range. Check and correct for possible hardware interference as described in the installation instructions. Next, open the double door kit package shown here, remembering not to discard any packaging materials until you have successfully completed the installation. Be sure to read all the way through the enclosed instructions before beginning the installation. Next, remove and identify all parts, cross-referencing the illustrated list in the installation instructions. Carefully unpack the hardware boxes. These include hardware and fasteners you will use to install your double security screen door. Open both door boxes and immediately dispose of the installation instructions in each box. They will not be used. Pull the box of hardware from the top of each door and remove all the parts. You will not be using all the parts from each door box. Simply follow the double door installation instructions in this video and the leftover parts will become obvious at the end. Remove the door panel from the plastic. Remove the header jam, the hinge side jam, and the lock side jam from each door panel and then remove the bug sweeps. Remove the protective plastic from the frame pieces, separating the snap covers as you do so. Leave the cardboard throw protectors taped to the latch side of each door panel. You will remove these later in the installation. Remove the plastic from the door panels, leaving the top stickers and the latch side throw protectors in place. Test fit both hinge side jams from the door packages, which may need trimming depending on your threshold configuration. To get an accurate measurement, place the top header jam from the double door kit package in place. Then, each hinge side jam, marking the bottom where they need to be trimmed. If trimming is required, you will need to trim the weather stripping to match. Slide the weather stripping back so that the end is even with the uncut frame. Trim to fit from the bottom as needed. Trim excess weather stripping from the bottom end of the frame. Assemble the three-piece frame laying flat. Install the Phillips head screws provided so they protrude from each jam about an eighth of an inch. Then attach the top header jam and tighten each screw the rest of the way. Trim the weather stripping as needed for a flush fit at the corners of the frame. Carefully lift the frame in position. Install the assembled frame in the opening using two of the temporary mounting screws provided on each hinge side jam and one in the middle of the top header jam. Check the chute bolt receiving hole in the top header jam to see if there are any obstructions within one half inch above it. If so, trace the shape of the chute bolt receiving hole onto the obstruction. Once complete, remove the frame and set aside. Remove the obstructing material using a chisel or other appropriate tool. Reinstall the assembled frame in the opening using two of the temporary mounting screws provided on each hinge side jam and one in the middle of the top header jam. 
Add a temporary mounting screw in the outside and inside mounting holes at each hinge. Install all six hinges, three on each jam, using the screws provided, three screws per hinge. With the helper holding the doors into position, hang the door panels onto the jams by attaching the hinges to the jams using the screws provided. It's important that the door panel is held in proper position so the first mounting screw in each hinge is driven straight into the door panel. You will use three screws in each hinge, leaving one hole open for the vault pin. Remove the cardboard throw protector from the edge of each door panel. The door should swing freely. Next, remove all three of the door latches of the inactive door. Remove the mortise gear and center latch. Lift the top latch up and out. Pull the bottom latch down and out. Using needle nose pliers, grasp the rod assembly through the mortise gear and center latch opening so you can grab the top of the rod assembly through the top latch opening and pull the entire assembly out through the top latch opening. Place the astragal on the inactive door so that its top edge is even with the top edge of the door panel and the back leg that the active door closes against is towards the house. There should be a 3 16 inch gap between the bottom of the astragal and the threshold or stoop. If there is not, mark the astragal to 3 16 of an inch up from the threshold or stoop, then remove the astragal and trim to the mark. Place the astragal back onto the inactive door so that its top edge is even with the top edge of the door panel. Use a clamp or have an assistant hold the astragal in place. Using a 3 32nd inch drill bit, drill four mounting holes into the inactive door panel through the four holes in the astragal. Attach the astragal to the inactive door through the holes just drilled with the screws provided. Install the latch hole plug into the lower of the two center latch holes. Install the strike plate in the upper of the two center latch holes. Next, take a chute bolt and retract it using the lever indicated by the red dot. Slide the retracted chute bolt into the top of the astragal. Place the top edge of the chute bolt even with the top edge of the astragal and mark the astragal through the mounting hole. Pre-drill the hole you marked using a 7 inch drill bit and attach the chute bolt to the astragal through the hole you just drilled using the screws provided. Deploy the chute bolt lever to expose the other mounting hole. Pre-drill through the mounting hole using a 7 inch drill bit and finish attaching the chute bolt to the astragal using one of the screws provided. Using a mallet or hammer, carefully install the chute bolt receiver cup into the top header jam. Close the inactive door and deploy the chute bolt to ensure a proper fit. Next, open the inactive door and put the bottom chute bolt in place in the astragal by inserting the inside edge first and rotating the chute bolt into position. Retract the chute bolt using the lever indicated by the red dot. Slide the retracted chute bolt so that the bottom is flush with the bottom of the astragal. Pre-drill through the mounting hole using a 7 64th inch drill bit and finish attaching the chute bolt to the astragal using one of the screws provided. Deploy the chute bolt to expose the other mounting hole. Pre-drill through the mounting hole using a 7 64th inch drill bit and finish attaching the chute bolt to the astragal using one of the screws provided. Retract the bottom chute bolt, close the inactive door, and deploy the top chute bolt. Then deploy the bottom chute bolt until it touches the threshold or stoop and mark its location where it touches. Place the chute bolt plate over the mark you just made and mark the location of the mounting holes. Drill the chute bolt receiving and mounting holes and attach the chute bolt plate using the screws provided. In certain applications, you may wish to secure the plate with an adhesive instead of screws. Using the dummy handles and blocks from the double door kit, attach the block to the back of each dummy handle, tapping in place as needed until they are flush or below the hardware trim plate. Install the dummy hardware on the inactive door with the screws provided, and then install the screw covers to hide the screws. Using the locking handle and spindles from one of the door packages, install the hardware in the active door, leaving each mounting screw about a half turn from tight. Insert the locking cylinder into the hardware from the inside of the door. Tighten the retaining screw until snug. Then, go back and tighten the mounting screws on the handle. Install the screw covers provided to hide the screws and remove the plastic from the door handles. With the door open, retract the three-point locking mechanism using the key or thumb turn. Keep the door open and test the mechanism by first depressing the three-point locking system trigger, then deploying the locks using the key or thumb turn. If the locks will not deploy, the system has been offset and must be manually reset. If the top and bottom lock throws do not operate, you will need to reset your hardware. 
If a hardware reset is required, remove the cylinder by removing the set screw and pulling it out of the door panel. Carefully remove the handset trim plates and handles, holding the handles so that they do not fall to the ground. Remove the two mortise lock mounting screws in the edge of the door panel. Grab the main throw with one hand, pull the lock mechanism out of the edge of the door panel and place your other hand behind the black plastic linkage connector. Keep pressure on the linkage connector so that it stays connected to the lock mechanism as you pull until it is just outside the edge of the door panel. Push down on the lock mechanism until it clicks. Ensuring the linkage connector remains attached to the back of the lock mechanism, raise and slide the lock mechanism back into the door panel. The top and bottom lock throws should be fully deployed. Reinstall the lock set handles and cylinder by reversing the removal procedure. Test the locking system again as previously described to ensure that it is operating properly. Install the permanent mounting screws on the inside of the frame. Check the door operation as you install each screw to ensure smooth operation of the doors and that the three-point locking system trigger is depressed when both doors are closed. Line up the full-length latch guard from the double door kit with the top of the astragal on the inactive door and mark the latch guard where it meets the bottom of the door panel. Trim to the mark. Realign the latch guard with the top edge of the active door and drill mounting holes in the door panel through the pre-drilled holes in the latch guard using a 332nd inch drill bit. Attach the latch guard to the astragal using the screws provided. Install permanent mounting screws through the mounting holes in the face of the frame. The bug sweeps included in the double door kit can be installed inside or outside of the doors based on the configuration of your entryway and preferences. Hold the bug sweep up to the bottom edge of the inactive door so that the ends are even with the edge of the door panel and astragal. Install the bug sweep so that it drags against the threshold or stoop using the screws provided. Position the active bug sweep even with the hinge side of the active door. Mark and trim where the bug sweep meets the outside edge of the astragal mounted to the inactive door. Position the bug sweep so that it drags against the threshold or stoop and install using the screws provided. Install the weather stripping to the full length of the stop leg of the astragal. Start at the top and remove approximately 6 inches of the protective backing at a time and adhere to the astragal. Slowly and carefully, work your way down the full length of the door. Trim at the bottom as needed. The weather stripping is extremely sticky and fragile, so take care when installing. Once the adhesive touches the surface, that's where it stays. Install the chute bolt covers from the double door kit. Set the snap cover into the channel leading with the outside edge and tap the inside edge into place with the mallet and wood block. Repeat this process for the second hinge side jam and top jam. And that's all there is to installing a Unique Home Designs recessed mount double security screen door featuring the MeshTech advanced screen system. Thank you for visiting HelpMeInstallIt.com.